It's the 16th of December and I've opened 16 windows in my calendar. So we're going to go back to the kitchen and we're going to do some more cooking and we're going to make one of the seven species for Christmas. Can you guess the name? Yes, we are making Krumkakor. So this is the name of this uh, Norwegian cookies because we are shaping them after this one. So we are chroming them or like this cone shape and that is why it's called Krumkak. Okay, so this is really, really easy to remember. We are using five egg whites, 125 grams of sugar, 125 grams of butter and 125 grams of flour and we're also gonna add five teaspoons of vanilla powdered sugar let's just start so first i whip meringue of half the sugar and the egg whites and then i've softened uh, the butter in the same uh, Bowl. and I also added the flour in here so I will also put this in mix it all together very nicely of course it's gonna lose some of the air but we're gonna try to keep as much as possible so we're gonna mix this together mm. so this recipe I think all of Norway are cooking this one and there are approximately 100 different recipes this one is a mixture from one recipe that I had from a restaurant that I used to run and also my mother's recipe. So this is a mix of those. And uh, it doesn't have any name yet. But today I want to give it a name. So the batter has finished and I want to bake this right now. So I'm using um, this old iron here and inside you can see this lovely lovely pattern here and each iron has a new pattern and it's quite lovely and also these cakes are very very thin so we're gonna start with a tablespoon approximately and we're gonna place it in the middle and then we're just gonna close it and then we're gonna give it a little help just pushing not too much but a little And then we wait. So I want to declare this recipe to my hometown, Sagne, Sagnes uh, Kronkakke. Why not? So for Sagne uh, district or my hometown, this is a recipe for you. And once they got the color that we want, we remove it, watch your hands, and then we shape it right away. And as I mentioned before, I would like to change the shape because I prefer this round kind of cigar shape instead of this old tradition shape. It's easier to place in a box and I think it's very nice to fill them up with cream. So this Sagne uh, Kumkaki recipe is giving approximately 20 Kumkaki and as they cool off they are finished. So I will fill them with some kind of cream and I will show you that in another uh, calendar uh, window but just we have to taste this first. Oh it's so thin and it's so crunchy and just like it's supposed to be. Mm. Mmm, 
Share this recipe with your friends and I see you soon.